Twitter users established their first African office in Ghana and everyone is bickering. <laughs> Why did they choose Ghana? Why did they choose Ghana? Why did they establish the office in Nigeria? Really? Have you forgotten that if they did that, they would have to register for NIN? After all, they would have to have sims, yeah? They can't be seamless. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Gist Corner where we ally different entertaining gist, political gist from around us. All right, don't you go anywhere. We'll be back with Juicy Juicy Juice. You on the Twitter establishing office in Ghana. <laughs> Really, Nigerians, are you trying to tussle with Ghana right now? Like, are you trying to do tug of war, say, you know, Twitter has to come to this side or Twitter has to come to this side? No way! <laughs> Nigerians, really? Don't you remember you singing, Ni Ni Ghana must go, Ghana must go, Ghana must go. You even named it back after them, Ghana must go. And now you're saying... <laughs> jokes on Nigerians, yeah, jokes on us. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but really, if they were to establish an office here in Nigeria, here in Lagos, it would be strenuous on them because you have to register their SIMs, everybody, everybody would have to have a phone. And registering for NIN is, we do, you do know now, even I haven't really done it because I think I did it, but then again, the second sleep, I wasn't able to get it. That was like two years ago, till now I haven't gotten it. You know how strenuous it is? Do you want them to go through this strenuous? No, <laughs> it's better, it's best they are in Ghana. It's best they are in Ghana. Let's talk about PACN, the electricity. <laughs> Do you want them to burn money on electricity? Because it is, it's best they are in Ghana. I think it's best they are in Ghana. You get? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not being biased, but seriously, it's best they are in Ghana. <laughs> Federal authority for airports in Nigeria have alarmed over planned attacks in airports. <laughs> Any day, anytime, anybody if you bomb airports, so that's what they are trying to say. The rate in insecurity in Nigeria is alarming. No wonder other countries are trying to avoid travel to Nigeria. <laughs> According to a statement released, they said there are hot zones in Nigeria due to civil unrest. None of their citizens should dare, you know step into Nigeria otherwise they will not be able to guarantee their safety. They even highlighted some hot zones. Those hot zones, you already know, your base states, Gombe, Bauchi, and Bonu is number one trending, Adamawa state. <laughs> Bonu is number one trending. Nobody, nobody is even trying to, you know, if because even soldiers commit suicide. I read an article over the weekend, I saw that so many soldiers have committed suicide in Bonu. That's to tell you how how grievous this is, how, how, how alarming this rate in insecurity is for soldiers to even fear for their own life and or take their own life. <laughs> it's it's alarming. <laughs> Talking about insecurity, 15 headless bodies were discovered in Calabar State. 15 headless bodies were actually dumped at the site. I'm wondering how did somebody, you know, because obviously they were parked in a vehicle and then they dumped them in that site here. Yeah? How did they over the how did they pass them the police checkpoints, you know, the soldiers on the road? How is it possible that they were able to to escape them and then dump those headless bodies. Obviously, they were used for ritual. And now nobody knows, nobody can track the vehicle. Nobody can track anybody that actually, you know, dump those 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 bodies there. It's <laughs> no wonder people are trying to run away from the country and even outsiders are not they're not even daring to step foot in Nigeria because it's 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 a hot zone. Hot, hot zone. <laughs> So we need help in this country. Who is going to save us? I, I keep saying it. Who will save us? <laughs> a ship in Nigeria has been impounded whilst trying to smuggle. <laughs> Listen to me, guys. Why are you trying to smuggle 7,200 pennies? Like pennies. <laughs> They're trying to smuggle it to China. Now, the question is what do they want to do with 
the penis. No wonder the abduction rate in Nigeria is so high. Kidnapping and then removing somebody's um, genital or remove, break, removing somebody's head. Now pennies, they are, they are actually importing to China. What do they want to use it for? Is it to make corned beef? I don't know. <laughs> I saw the post. I was doubtful. Only for me to find it on Fanny Coyote's page. I was like, ah, this, this has got to be real. But the question then is, what are they trying to do to the pennies? What are they trying to do with that much pennies? <laughs> we are in trouble in this country, yo. We are really in trouble. Nigeria and China, what is the relationship? And then we are importing pennies? Really? I'm still wondering, do they want to eat it? <laughs> is it like crab or abalone or shrimp that they eat? Anybody with an explanation with what they want to do with 7,200 and 200 pennies, pennies, come on. <laughs> hey, you're in trouble. Nigeria's in trouble. <laughs>
bear presidential posters who's gonna vote for him <laughs> who's, who's who's vouching for him Who, who's rooting for bukola saraki because we have tinobu now mm -hmm. i even heard tinobu jagaban shared rice to people in kano <laughs> this is what they will see why don't you share money to everybody now you just want us to share money to everybody echo curry jackie ray curry like what's this jackie ray curry it would give a rice that lunch in kano what have we got to do with kano then Mm -mm. I'm saying, what are we gonna do? I don't see the Kiri Kari Bobo states come up with a serious election, you but then again, you will never win, even if you give us human heads. Eh, you got me, it was definitely not gonna win. <laughs> but let's check out Brokola Saraki. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're, still, we're still looking, we're still looking for <laughs> who knows. <laughs> Hashtag 2023 elections. <laughs> Even pastors are talking about politics now. Pastor Paul Adifarasi has said that Nigeria is a scam. It was so blunt to say that Nigeria is a scam. And then that Nigeria's problem is its constitution. Yeah. Fix the constitution, fix the problem of Nigeria. Check out the video. Mm. And God will give us what we need to do what needs to be done. If we perish, let us perish. Millions will rise in our place. You hear what I'm saying to you? Otherwise, your grandchildren will not have a future in this land. And only people who are genuinely rooted in Christ will be able to deliver on God's purposes for this nation. Does he have a purpose for it? Of course. Look at the amount of resources he has put in Nigeria. Look at the, the resilience of the Nigerian. Look at how Nigerians are succeeding everywhere in the world, whether they left Nigeria 400 years ago or left Nigeria on a plane 50 years ago. They excel. We're at the top of the treasury in the United States. We're at the top of the World Bank. The list is very long in all the sciences and in all the arts. So the problem is not Nigerians. It is Nigeria and its constitution. The document upon which we were formed was a few soldiers who put it together and their surrogates. And that's what's supposedly holding us together. The foundation is that document. And if that foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? We've got to go back to the foundation. The next administration must not access power until we have a veritable constitution that is truly the document of we the people. We the people! You hear what I'm saying to you? Anything else is a fraud. Nigeria is a scam. It's a scam. And it's perpetuated itself too long. It's time to do something about it. No politician has the right to talk to us on this matter unless they believe as we believe. On this matter, Nigeria can do better, she can get better, and she can win. We are suffering in Nigeria in our hundreds of millions, whereas we need not to. We could easily be one of the top three countries in the world with the kind of resources we have. And it's about time that we let the international community know that they must be partial. Don't come and tell us that you're protecting democracy. Mm -mm. Don't come and tell us that you're looking for free and fair elections. Which election has been free and fair no. in this country? Except the closest to it, Abiola and Babagana Kinki. And now we have come to the end of this episode. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave your comments, your thoughtful comments down below. And you have, if you have not subscribed on this channel, please click the subscribe button down below. Mm. It's a click away. It's a click away. Yeah. Do also share to as many as possible. Even share to your enemies. Your enemies, enemies, your enemy, friend enemies, your friend enemies, everybody on your content leaks, everybody share to them. Alright, you can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter for more updates. Mm -hmm. Follow us and we'll definitely follow you back. I am a Thanks for watching. Bye.